What is this? You crazy? Eating bugs? Um, we probably do it in our sleep, but I wouldn't do it when I'm awake. <laughs> That's nasty. That's not for me. I would never do it in my life. No. Disgusting. Americans, for whatever reason, have a very limited perspective on what is edible and how to eat things. Perhaps it's driven by the fact that our culture has become so homogenized that uh, these parts of a culture that are normal outside of America become abnormal inside America. I mean, me, no, I've never ate insects before. Arguably, most, most people in the world will eat some form of arthropod at some point in their life by choice, and uh, many people eat them as a, as a regular part of their diet. I mean, maybe when I was little and it, you know, so happened to come across when I was like five or something. But um, yeah, no, I've never had insects. I never would think about eating insects. It's like I said, not part of our diet. In fact, when I was living in South Africa, uh, a large number of people get there get up to 80% of their protein intake strictly from insect sources. But I mean, hey, I'm, I'm curious. I would be interested to see actually how they taste and how they're a part of people's cuisine. Well, I'm pretty excited to eat some bugs. to cook these uh, babies right here is very simple. Um, we're just going to toss it in the uh, pan, it's hot, and then we're just going to basically roast it. You know, it has to be dry roasted. And then uh, we're just going to season it with salt and chili powder or chili piquin. And then we're just going to use some of the lemon or lime uh, sauce on top just to garnish it. Now the pot is really hot. So we're going to close it in here, and you can you can hear right. These ones we brought them from Mexico. Normally, you know, in the state of Oaxaca and the state of Guerrero is where you it's more uh, popular to cook with. All right, so I'm about to do something that I've never done before, which is eat grasshoppers. I never thought I would either, but I guess this goes nothing, right? I think Andrew is ready for this, so... It has no game in it, it's just more like um, earthy. Yeah, that, that's the purpose to toast it. We know any liquid, so this way they're really crunchy. When they're moist, it's gonna be more difficult for you to eat it. There's a little earthiness to it. It has a nice solid punch to it. Not bad. So it's funny, after eating the grasshopper, that I actually enjoyed it in the long run. And I myself would think, you know, that grasshoppers, bleh, you know, like, I don't really care for that, I don't want that, I don't want to eat that, but this definitely opened my eyes, you know, to all these different kinds of animals that you can eat. Um, and to not be prejudiced, you know, assuming that one thing is nasty over the other. It's just, it's different. Other people have different lifestyles. You know, this question of 
should I eat a bug doesn't come up in many countries because they already eat bugs. It will be important for us to exploit different forms of food and different methods of growing food than we have in the past. Uh, there are a lot of solutions, but I think among them, uh, insects can figure prominently. And they're a, they're a useful solution. And we just need to jump on and, and learn to enjoy another culinary feast.